Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy. Please don't forget to subscribe. So today I will be doing a anime shoe for my son. And I went and bought the bands. And of course you guys know this. I don't it. <laughs> Naruto and Sasuke. He's whispering it to me because I cannot remember it, you guys. But anyways, this is what I have. So what I previously do is do a print on regular paper, cut it out and position it on the shoe and see where I would like it to be. Then I take it straight to the heat transfer for black material. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm cutting it out. I prefer to cut around the character itself and leave the background out because I am not professional. I don't know how to paint or draw. And most people would just continue the background with the shoe where you wouldn't see um, where the material is like so um he said he was fine with it so don't come at me say like, oh it looks ugly because it didn't blend right but he said it was fine with it he's gonna be 13 and um anyways i went on and bought these vans because he saw that i was buying shoes to do some for some friends and family and so he said mom can you do one for me he didn't know what he wanted he said he wanted the flames and I couldn't even find a template for the flames and I couldn't even draw the flames so he ended up picking this he said he wanted the character right there on the right <laughs> and um so that's what I did and then the other character on the left and he told me the colors he wanted so I just took my mini um heat um iron and um just make sure you put a wax paper to protect the image and then this is for black material black material you don't have to flip the image because white material you flip the image you iron and then you wait till it cools off you peel it off peel off the paper and then the image transfer whereas in dark material you do it the way I just did you don't flip the image and you might say well why do it like that honestly with white material because I don't have like the proper um, I use an iron regular iron or with this case a mini iron and it's it's always temperamental for the image to transfer and I didn't want to ruin a shirt or a shoe whatever the case so I always do dark material so then I'm just going around and position the image where he wants it excuse me, I just need <laughs> where he wants it. And um, again, I would have preferred to cut the character out. I'll link some other videos that I have done where I did cut out the images. And then I just, um, you know, went with the purple or whatever color they chose or whatever design I decide to put on the shoe. So again, in this case, most people would have been able to blend the rest of the shoe with um well they wouldn't even use a, the heat transfer paper that would have just drawn the character so i don't mean to insult the talented out there but i'm just one trying to be one <laughs> okay trying to do a shoe so i'm doing the other shoe right now with the other character and i cut you know i, I cut it so that it doesn't go on the sole and um and then afterwards he wanted paint well he wanted paint he wanted yellow for this one and black and then purple and black for the other one and then he said oh, okay mom I don't need the tongue to be painted which was fine because it was really hard and then I was like okay I'm done like I am you know getting rid of the paint right there and now I'm mixing the two paint always if since it's a soft material I've learned from Angela's Direct to mix the two soft and if it's a hard material like leather or whatever mix it too hard and um so I guess the paint doesn't crack when you are walking yeah so um I thought I was finished, getting ready to do my little photos. And he's like, Mom, I want the tongue painted. So I ended up coming back and doing that. So um, anyways, guys, I know nothing about these characters. I thought it was like a game. Maybe it is. I don't know. But he said, no, Mom, it's like a show and that he watches. And um, I said, OK. So he has some Air Force ones. Um and he said, can you do something for me with those? So I might do something with this because it's plain white. He got it for his birthday um, last March 24th, 2020. But of course, at the time, everything was getting shut down and already had shut down. And he couldn't celebrate his birthday, which was, thank goodness, was safe. Now his birthday's coming around again. And <laughs> so he hasn't been to school, hasn't been anywhere. And he has his, his birthday gift did come then and it was the Air Force One. And he never got to use them. I hope he can still fit them. I think, honestly, when he purchased them, they were a little bit too big. But he said he was walking like that because he didn't want to do the crease. I guess that's the thing. And um, so 
but I thought it was too big. I'm like, you wasted money. It was too big. But thank goodness now, because now his birthday's coming around again, March 24th. He'll be 13, and um, he wants a Twitch account. And so I told him, well, if you get a Twitch account, you will find a way to bring in money. <laughs> so anyways, um, my mom's birthday is March 24th as well. He was born on my mom's birthday literally like, what, seven minutes before midnight or something like that. I have to check the exact time because I'm horrible with dates, numbers, and names. <laughs> and um, they both share the same birthday. You know, my mom passed away 2016. And um, every year when it was my son was born, I tried to have them celebrated together. And um, sometimes there were family issues that it wasn't able to. But, um, you know... I'm putting black on it now, you guys. Yeah, so um, now that she's passed, of course, she, he can't. So um, I have some, you know, nice pictures where I had a surprise party for my mom and things like that and celebrate both their birthdays. So at least we have that. And um, my brother came from Florida and surprised her. So that was nice. So anyways, um, I asked him again what he wants for his birthday. And he, all he wants, since he can't do anything, of course, is order food, which is different kind of foods, and um, probably money so he could put in these games. I'm like, this guy spent more money on receiving nothing from these games <laughs> than anything else. So any guys, if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe. I have different content, different situation, different stories to tell. So I'm um, putting on the black on this one. And, um, you know, it came out, I like, honestly, I think, no, I definitely prefer to paint on the cloth, even though you have to dip it a lot more in order to paint because it gets soaked up real fast. But with the leather material, when I paint, by the time, if you don't put a little bit on, and I'm so impatient, so I kind of put a little bit more than I should. And um, that one is almost done, meaning the tongue is left. Yeah. So when I go to paint on the leather one, it's sometimes, um, run to the sole and like in a corner and it's like my husband's like why don't you tape it I'm like oh ah, ah. and I'm not getting you know paid and I'm not saying I shouldn't take my time that's not the, what I'm saying I'm just saying it's like uh it's just like me you know doing something for fun but anyways the 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 cloth material is so much better it doesn't run because it soaks up right away the only thing is it kind of soaks through on the other on the inside of the shoe but i don't think that matters because you know you'll see it at the end when i do the final photo shoot so it's hard because um you know you i guess you'll be wearing socks anyway so he hasn't been able to wear these and um but that's okay because he gave me a content, <laughs> a video content for my YouTube channel. So now I'm doing the purple and I will be getting that prep for the, with the two, um, two soft and, um, start painting, um, my purple. So you guys, if you have an idea of what you would like me to do, let me know. I have some, like three more videos lined up and I post Tuesday, Thursdays and Sundays while I try to. And um, I, it's raining right now and I want to do my nails, but I don't know. I just feel out of it right now, to be honest with you. And um, so these are done. Well, almost done. Just the back is left. And um, I try to color the, the, the paint, I should say, the frame of the shoe so that it kind of looks like it blends in with the yellow as much as possible. So here I am thinking, I will see the, the bleeding right there on the inside. Yeah. So anyways, if um, I thought it was done and drying and oh, don't forget that you have to seal it with the, I seal it with the Angelus um, direct right here, his acrylic, acrylic sealer. And I also put that on the image and it says uh, matte, but for whatever reason, it always a gloss to me, which I prefer. I'm a like when I do my nails, I have the the top coat from Matt, but I just prefer gloss. So now this is the next day and he, I ended up um, doing it inside and sealing it. I don't think I sealed it on camera. So um, I'm finished with this one and let it dry. And I'm going to be doing the purple. And I have one more shoe. Well, maybe two with, if I do my son's Air Force. But I have Jordans that I just got. I don't know what I want to do because these Jordans are so awesome. I had to get it verified by GOAT and everything, and 
they're so awesome that I don't want to mess it up. Like I wanted to do like Belize on one foot and America on another foot. Then I want to do Smurfs on one foot and Scooby-Doo on one foot, like for my favorite cartoons back in the days. But I don't know. I might just do glitter vinyl all over in different colors. Anyways, this is the final look, you guys. You see the bleed inside, but that's okay. He loves them and that's all that matters. And let me know what you think. Don't be mean. Okay, because I mean, I get mean back. No kidding. So let me know what you think. Um, and um, I think the next one coming up might be my pedicure uh, boutonniere for my um, um, memory of or um, so. Anyways, you guys, just come back and hit the notification button so you can see the next video. Thanks. Bye bye.